Let us begin with Tejas. Tejas says, what are your views on Kumari Kandam? Do you think it existed? Well, the, the question of Kumari Kandam has been around for quite some time. And apparently um, in certain texts, uh, uh, Tamil texts, it, it, it is written that there used to be a much uh, larger area that was uh, inhabited by, by people in ancient times. And it was called Kumari Kandam. Uh, and so now people have constructed, uh, you know, theories or hypotheses out of this, uh, out of this uh, textual evidence that we have. And some people call it Lemuria or something. Some people just call it Kumari Kandam. And the claim is that there was a massive, enormous continent south of uh, the southern part of India, in the Indian Ocean, that was called Kumari Kandam. Well. I would invite you all to take a look at undersea maps of the Indian Ocean. We clearly, we have very detailed and very clear maps of the uh, bottom of the Indian Ocean and the entire world essentially. And you can clearly see the tracks left behind by the tectonic movement of the Indian subcontinent from Africa all the way into Eurasia when it slammed into Eurasia. You can see the tracks left behind. You know, you can see the ridges and tracks. So it's clear that uh, this this event happened of the Indian subcontinent moving away from uh, Africa because of tectonic activity about 120 million years ago and slamming into the Eurasian uh, continent about 50, 40 million years ago. That's when it began. But there is no evidence of a sunken continent that was once above the ocean. There is absolutely no evidence whatsoever of that. The... Uh, Evidence, the data is unambiguous. There was no such hidden or, or sunken continent that would have once been above the surface of the ocean in maybe during the last glacial uh, minimum when uh, maybe 12,000 or so years ago when the sea levels were about 120 or so meters below where they are today. So there is no such continent. But we do find evidence of uh, sunken cities all across, all around the, the geography of the Indian subcontinent. In the west, we have Dwarka and the uh, Gulf of Khambat archaeological complex, which is a network of uh, submerged cities. And in the south also, you know, in the east of, of the coast of Tamil Nadu, you do, we do find only recently, uh, the archaeologists, uh, I think in February or January or somewhere around that time, they discovered a large submerged city uh, close to present day Puducherry, Pondicherry, it's approximately at least a hundred square kilometers. The site that's large, that's very large, and it's it's about eighty or hundred meters below the sea. So that's that corresponds to a time period of at least eight to ten thousand years before today. And it's being speculated right now. We don't know for sure, but it could be the lost city of Kaveri Pum Kaveri Pumpatnam of the Sangam era. So it's clear. That Indian civilization, whether it's a, the, it's it's at least ten thousand years old, if not much older than that, right? And uh, that that dates back to the time the last ice age was very much in force. So the contours of the Indian subcontinent which were much larger than what they are today. Sri Lanka was connected, was part of the Indian subcontinent. It was not a separate island at that time, about 12, 15, 17,000 years before today. Sri Lanka was very much part of the Indian subcontinent. It was just one single land mass. So yes, the, if we want to interpret that as the lost continent or the lost land, then it's very much that. But there is no large, enormous, submerged continent that will someday emerge. That's that's not the case. Okay, so uh, yeah, that is the answer. I don't think it existed because I have seen the data. There is no evidence that uh, such a large, submerged continent ever existed. So my point is that we have to look at evidence. We have to look at evidence and base our understanding of the world on the hard evidence, archaeological evidence, empirical evidence, right? And there is no evidence of that. It's not going to appear in the future. New evidence of a lost continent. It's not going to happen.